What's up, YouTube? For today's video, we're a full reggae team. Now, it was four years since I did the last reggae team. It kind of felt a little bit longer than that, but here we are. We're going to update a reggae team with all six Pokemon this time. So we've got Reggie Lecky and Reggie Draco added into the mix. If you people want to follow me on Twitch, this is where I do all my live Pokemon sweeps, theme teams, shiny hunts, and all other games, that sort of thing. Check it out in the description. Let's get into today's video. Now, earlier on, I did a Legend birds updated team two make sure you've checked that one out so if you're missing the subscription box which probably definitely happened uh you can check it out on my channel and uh you know give it a watch there too okay today we've got three battles as well so i thought i'd spoil you people with this team since uh we've had a couple of days of a lot of pokemon sweeps and i'm sort of nearing the completion of all those new pokemon okay we got a battle against spicy Ozzy, and we got a cobra lion lead so i'm leading this off with my reggae gigas now with reggae gigas right i'm running a special set we got hyper beam thunder Focus Miss and Icy Win. Max Health and Max Special Attack. Now, the interesting thing about Slow Start, right, it actually doesn't affect Special Attack. So you can make full use of Reggie Gigas' uh, Special Attack. Now, Reggie Gigas actually got the move Protect this uh, this gem, which is uh, really, really cool. So you can actually make use of Protect and stall out at Slow Start. I may revisit another Reggie Gigas Sweet video or sort of strategy video in the future too. It's uh, definitely my favorite Reggie. Okay, so we're going to take the Cobine out, which is really nice. I'm locked into Choice Scarf, uh, I'm sorry, Choice Specs, uh, Focus Miss there. So I really got to swap out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to swap my Reggie Gigas out, but they do a double swap into Ferrothons. So it's like, okay, maybe they definitely expect me the swap. I don't know. So now we're going to go into my Reggie Steel here, and you might be able to see that they've got a uh, Steel type team. So we've got Steel Roller, Ice Punch, and Earthquake, and Explosion on this set. we got a Max Health and Max Attack set, and I've got Adam and Nature and Normal Gem as the item. Now, we got the uh, Stealth Rock on the uh, Ferrothorn's going to be setting now. That's not really too bad because uh, for me because the Reggies don't really take a lot of damage from that. Now, one thing about the Reggies before Reggie Draco and Reggie Lecky came into the mix, right? They were all weak to fighting. So, once those two Pokemon are out of the you know equation, uh, it makes things very, very difficult with fighting type Pokemon. So, we got a special Ferrothorn here. It's going to pop a Thunder trying to paralyze me, but it didn't happen. Now, I'm going to just keep going for Earthquake on Ferrothorn. There's really not a lot I could do. Uh, uh, Ferrothorn's very, very bulky too, and you know, Earthquake's my best move to use against the run. So Ferrothorn is going to go for another Thunder. Um, this actually reminds me, one time I did a Choice Specs Ferrothorn. I even did a Choice Scarf Ferrothorn. They were absolutely terrible. So now we got the Ferrothorn swapping out, and we got the Corviknight coming in. So like, okay, well, Earthquake can't do much of that at all. Really, I can't touch Corviknight outside of Ice Punch, right? So it's like... Mm, I might be able to get an Ice Punch Freeze Axe. That'd be like super, super cool. And uh, now the Corviknight is going to go for a bulk up. I'm like, oh, oh no. This could have Body Press. If this thing gets enough bulk ups up when the Body Press, I'm going to be like in a world of pain. Right? So going for the Ice Punch, it does three damage to Corviknight. And Corviknight is also going to have leftovers. So it's like, oh wow. What what can I do here? Like, I know that Reggie Lecky could do really good damage against it, but I was like, do I really want to swap into it and take that risk? I was like, okay, let's see if we can do that. We're going to go into Reggie Lecky. So Reggie Lecky is so tiny compared to the other Reggies. Also, question of the day, uh, what is your favorite Reggie? Le leave it below in the comment section of the video. So we've got another bulk up from the Corp right here, and I've got a really fun Reggie Lecky set. So as you know, uh, or if you haven't used Reggie Lecky yet, Reggie Lecky is a very uh, barren Pokemon on the special side. So most of its moves are electric. We got Zap Cannon, Electric Terrain, Thunder Cage, and Lock On. So what you can do, right? You can fire off a Zap Cannon after a Lock On, get 100% accuracy, and get 100% paralyzed, which is pretty cool. At this stage, I thought, well, what I'm going to do to take the Corviknight out, I think I need a Dynamax Reggie Lecky ride, and you know, take it out. So Corviknight is actually going to swap out after, like, even after getting all those boosts. And Ferrothorn is going to be coming in. So it's like, okay, well, Ferrothorn's... There's a chance that it could lift its attack, but I know the next one will definitely take it out, right? And with the ability transistor boosting electric types and the electric train in the field, it's going to be doing like a heap of damage. Like even resisted hits, right? So the EVs on this one are as follows. Now... I didn't really even need to run speed on this because it's so fast, but I just did it for the memes. We've got max speed and max special attack, modest nature. So go for the uh, max lightning there on the Ferrothorn, and that is enough to take it out. I guess with the uh, Dynamax and the Transistor, that was enough to take out the uh, Ferrothorn, which is really good. Now, the Electric Terrain is on the field, which is really good because that means all my hits are going to be doing a lot of damage. Now, Corviknight can't come into this. I mean, I was like, Aggie Sash. I mean, maybe they'll go for a Max Guard or a King Shield. That's about the only way they'll be able to get around this right so i can go for another max lighting man look at reggie lecky's legs even when it's dynamax the, the little thunder
Thunderbolt thinks they're so tiny still. So we got a Dynamax Agate Slash here. So like, okay, well, this is still going to do a lot, right? I estimated this to do around, you know, half health, and then I might be able to finish off on the next one if they, don't, of course, don't go for a max uh, max guard, right? So we got the uh, Aggie Sash in its more defensive form here, and, I mean, if it was in its blade form, like, there'd be no worries at all. I could easily take this out, but this is really, really tanky, right? So obviously, I'm going to outspeed the Aggie Sash, and I'm going for an electric-type move. Under electric terrain does over half health. I was very impressed with that damage. Now, Aggie Sash is going to move into its, uh, obviously, more offensive blade, form there and it's I'm guessing it was going to hit me with like a uh, you know max uh, phantasm right that's going to be its stab move so I actually managed to take that one just Reggie Leggy isn't very bulky um, I mean I just took that due to Dynamax that was pretty much it so my defense is going to fall not that that really matters too much because uh, I'm not going to be able to leave another hit so here I could go for a max lightning I was like okay I could definitely take Aggie Slash out but then Aggie Slash goes for a max guard I'm like oh god man that sucks so now Reggie Leggy right is not going to be Dynamax anymore and then I either have to go for a Zap Cat and run, or I can go for a Thunder Gauge. And I thought, well... Thunder Cage may not take it out here. I could have to go for a Zap Cannon if it goes back into its other form, right? So Zap Cannon is 120 base power, and, you know, with uh, its ability transistor and the electric train, that is going to be doing some really good damage. Now, Aggie Sash is actually going to swap out there in the last turn of Dynamax, and guess who's going to come in, people? It's going to be Corviknight. So it's like, okay... If this lands on Corviknight, Corviknight is never going to be flying again, right? It's going to get wrecked. And Zap Cannon lands. I'm like, oh my goodness. And Corviknight is going to definitely, like, that would have taken out Corviknight's, like, kids, unborn kids, entire family tree, everyone. So anyway, Corviknight's dead. And our next Pokemon is Aggie Sash coming back here. So like, okay, Aggie Sash is probably going to have Shadow Sleep. But what if it doesn't have Shadow Sleep? What if it sets up Sword Dance on the swap? Do I take that chance? I've, I'm in a pretty good position at the moment. I've still got six Pokemon. Maybe I should just go for Thunder Cage. And if it does go for Shadow Sleep, you know, it's so be it. I can swap another Pokemon. So Aggie Sash is going to go for a Stand Stage. It's like, okay, it's got Shadow Sleep then. You know, uh, Reggie Lecky did a good job there. Um, I didn't know, I didn't really want to risk it in case it had Sword Dance, right? I would have been bad if that swapped out, got a free Sword Dance. That could have been really bad. And, you know, I've taken out a couple of Pokemon already. I've taken out three Pokemon, so I'm in a pretty dang good position. So going into Reggie Steel again here, I can go for Earthquake easy. Even if it goes for King Shield, that's not going to matter at all, right? And now there's no Corviknight, right, to swap in for that Earthquake. So, you know, things are looking pretty good right now. So Aggie Sash is going to go for the King Shield. Earthquake's going to obviously do nothing. Uh, but I don't get, a, like, an attack drop, which is really really, really good too. Now, Aggie Sash is going to change its stance. Like, is it going to have like a fighting type move? Like, is it going to have Shadow Ball? What's it going to do? So, it went for Shadow Ball. So, like, okay. Reggie Steel's very bulky, right? And I take that very, very well. And Earthquake is definitely going to be able to take Aggie Sash out in its blade form, right? So, that is four Pokemon down already. So, I've got a very, very commanding lead right now uh, in this battle. However, things did change. So, the next Pokemon is the Kling Clang. So I was like, oh wow, I want to try out this set, right? So you may have noticed on my Reggie Steel, right, that I had a specific move, Steel Roller. Now, Steel Roller, you can only use when there's a terrain on the field, right? And I deliberately set that terrain up with my Reggie Lecky. I get the crit, and what it does, right, after you use the move, it actually stops the terrain in its tracks, which is really, really unique and really, really cool. And no, you cannot use that move unless there's a terrain on the field. That's the sort of thing about the move there. It's got some really good base power, though. So now, uh, Kling is going to go for a shift gear there. I'm going to go for another earthquake and it's going to go down. So they only have one more Pokemon left on their like mono steel type team role. Well, they're steel type Pokemon team. And the last Pokemon is Reggie Steel. I'm like, okay, this is cool. This, this, this is kind of interesting because uh, they've got no Reggie Steel too. So I was like, okay, in case this thing tries to set up uh, curses and stuff like that, I could go for Earthquake, but then it might start setting up like curses against me. And then I might be able to get like, like two or three or four of them, rest off or something like that, and be insanely hard to take out. So I thought, I'm just going to go for Explosion, do a chunk of damage, and then swap something else in since I'm in such a good lead right. Now, Reggie Steel is going to go for a Meteor Beam there. It's going to get a special attack rise uh, from that. And I was like, does it have the power herb to activate it right away? But it didn't, right? So back into Reggie Gigas. I still have a bit of health left and I can go for a Focus Miss here. I do take a little bit of damage there. So I've got my slow start off. I'm thinking, well, Reggie Steel might be able to outspeed me here. It sort of depends, uh, you know, how they sort of are running this set, right? 
So I can go for a focus miss. And hopefully it doesn't miss right. Because that would be bad. And uh, it's going to outspeed me with the Meteor Beam. I was like, okay, man. It got a special attack boost. Uh, Regigigas is not going to be living that one. So that is going to go down. But that doesn't matter. Regigigas only had a bit of health left anyway. So, the, okay. Let's go into Reggie Rock, right? This is a weakness policy rock polish set. And uh, it's got sturdy as a ability. But uh, unfortunately, my sturdy is now gone. So rock polish, body press, stone miss, and ice punch. So body press there for super effective damage. And, you know, just a general great move on Reggie Rock, right? Because it's got so much dang defense. Now, uh, Reggie still is going to go for a rest. I'm like, of course. I just see. I knew that it would have rest, right? I wasn't sure if it had curse or not. That was the thing uh, that I was thinking about. Like, I've, I've done a Reggie still sweep before, like, uh, with curse, right? Curse and rest and sleep talk. It's, it gets, like, super, super techy. So go for that body press there. It's a clear two-hit code to the next body press. We'll take out Reggie Steel here. And now Reggie Steel is going to go for a sleep talk. I'm like, oh, what move is it going to use? Is it going to, like, a splash cannon? And it did use splash cannon. I'm like, oh, no, this is bad. Because that's super effective, right? Reggie Rock doesn't have the greatest special defense in the world. Lost at sturdy. And Reggie Steel had a plus one in special attack, too. So Reggie Rock is going to go down. So now we're going to bring in Reggie Draco. This is the Choice Scar set uh, with its signature move. Uh, Dragon Energy, Angel Power, Twister, and High Boom. So, like, okay. Let's go for Dragon Energy and just take it out, right? This should almost all be enough to actually take it out. And, you know, it, it, it's possibly a good chance that it'll get rest, right? So, Reggie still managed to hold on, even though it's, it's not very effective, right? And uh, now Reggie still can either go for a Flash Cannon or it can go for a Meteor Beam again, right? So, I was sort of hoping that it would use, like, Meteor Beam. Now, it's going to go for a Flash Cannon again. I'm like, man, this is really bad, right? Because, obviously, this move is based on how much health you've got left. So, I was like... Oh no, is Dragon Energy going to be enough to take this out? Like, what can I do? My last Reggie, which is my Reg Ice, can't really do too much. Like, it'll get destroyed by Flash Cannon, especially if it's like uh, plus one. So I decide I've got to go for uh, Dragon Energy. I can't uh, I can't Dynamax. I'm locked into this with the Choice Scarf. Max Speed, Max Special Attack, Modest Nature. Uh, so going for that attack on Reggie Seal, and I think it was just enough to take it out. And that, my friends, is the first battle. That Reggie Seal really clutched back into the game there, taking a lot of my Pokemon out there at the end. Let's get on to the second battle. Now, I get to show Reg Ice in this battle and the next one too, so uh, don't worry about that one if you uh, do like Reg Ice. Man, Reg Ice has got one of those shinies that just never changes. Uh, it just gets, I think it gets a little bit brighter. That's about it. Next battle we have is against Felicia, and we got a uh, kind of Fable lead here. So this time, I'm leading off with uh, Reg Gigas, right? Now, Reg Gigas has Hyper Beam on the, well, Honestly, if I've got Choice Specs and High Beam, it should do a lot of damage. So I'm going to get Thunder Wave here. Not that it really matters. I'm quite a slow Pokemon as it is. If I can get off a really powerful High Beam, I'd be very happy. I get the Hyper Beam off, but it misses. I'm like, man, that really sucks. And uh, now there's going to be another Stealth Rock on the field from the Clefable. I mean, when I say another, I mean the first one had Stealth Rock too. So uh, Stealth Rock, once again, is not going to do too much. And now I'm going to fire Hyper Beam. I think I fired that out of my arm. Anyway, so go for the Clefable there. Clefable takes a lot of damage, but it is able to live that one. So I was like, man, that really sucks. Now, instead of healing up, they're going to swap the Fable Lad, and they're going to go into Absol. So I was like, okay, Absol, this thing may try and set up on me, right? So they're going to go for a Sword Dance. Uh, that's going to boost the attack of this thing by two. So like, I've got to take this out, right? Because if it's got Night Slash and stuff like that, it could be really bad. Now, I don't get paralyzed, which is amazing. I fire another High Beam out of my arm at the, uh, at the I nearly said I called it Aggie Slash, at the Absol, and it goes down in one shot. So they were betting on me getting paralyzed then, because I thought they may have Focus Slash, but they didn't. So now in comes a Regirock, another Reggie, which is cool. And it's, uh, it's shiny too. I actually quite like shiny Regirock. Looks really, really cool. And uh, here we go. We got Dynamax Regirock. Now, since I seen the Dynamax Regirock, I was so tempted. I was like, oh, I, I really got to swap my own Regirock into this run. Like, which Reggie's going to be the better one, right? So we got a big old shiny Regirock here, which looks real. I actually quite like um. Reggie Rock. And Reggie still is like a green shiny too. It's like, it looks like minty toothpaste. And uh, we got uh, what, what the other one. I mean, those the original Reggies actually have pretty good shinies, right? Compa uh, compared to the newest ones, in my opinion. Now, anyway, it's going to go for a max rockfall on Reggie Gigas. Once again, this is max health and max special attack. So I take it very, very well. I am going to get buffeted by the Sandstorm too. And that is going to make uh, Reggie Rock very, very bulky and Dynamax, right? So I thought, you know what? I'm going to swap in my Reggie Rock too. And I'm going to die. Dynamax my own. So this is more of a sweeping set. And unfortunately here, it's going to go for a Max Steel Spike instead of going for a Rock-type move. Um, so, I mean, it was fortunate, unfortunate, but it was fortunate at the same time, right? Because I've got Weakness Policy on my Regirock, right? Now, Regirock is going to get another Defense Rise there. Well, another Defense Rise on top of that. So I was like, 
Well, even if I go for Dynamax now for Max Knuckle, there, I mean, there's no way I'm going to be able to take it up. The good thing about Body Press, I can use it for Max Knuckle too. And even outside of the Dynamax, I can still go for Body Press, right? So it's uh, using that move uh, in two things, which is really, really good. So I can make it offensive, uh, you know, uh, physically or use it defense to use it um, as an attack too, which is really nice. So I thought, okay, let's go for Dynamax Regirock and let's see how much damage I could do this thing. So I'm going to go out and assume that this opposing Regirock was a lot more bulkier than mine, right? Like how the EVs were and stuff like that. Plus, I sustained a lot more damage, uh, you know, to mine than I did before, right? So I'm going to go for the Max Knuckle here, trying to boost my attack and get rid of the defensive, uh, you know, defense rise that the Max Steel Spike actually gave the opposing Reggie Salt. So getting a, uh, a plus one in attack there, and that's going to make a grand total of plus three now. So Reggie Rock's going to go for a Max Knuckle itself, trying to bolster his attack. Unfortunately for me here, that was actually a critical hit against my Reggie Rock, which really, really sucked. So... I'm, I'm not like, man, that would have done, like, no damage at all. Like, this is definitely a bulky set. So they're opposing Reggie Rock. Oh, the opposing Reggie Rock is going to be small again. So, like, okay, this is my chance. I can go for a max knuckle here and take it out. And I've got, like, uh, that'll give me plus four in attack. So I'll be very, very strong, right? So going for that max knuckle on their own Reggie Rock there. And it still doesn't take it out. That sand made it so bulky too, right? And, of course, Reggie Rock is just Reggie Rock, right? It's got, like, a million defense, right? So now they're going to go for a Drain Punch. And Drain Punch takes me out. I think, right, I, I, I could say this, but I believe the first critical hit actually mattered there. I believe I had a good chance of actually living Drain Punch, right, considering, you know, how much my, like, the Max Knuckle was doing and stuff like that, right? So anyway, uh, Reggie Rock is going to go down, unfortunately. I think, I like, if I swapped that in without swapping into a Max Steel Spike, I know that I would have won that matchup, but I wanted to use Dynamax Reggie Rock really bad there. So I was like, okay. Let's go into Reggie Draco here and go for a Dragon Energy, right? So once again, Dragon Energy is based off the amount of health you got. It's like Water Spout and Eruption, right? So go for that. And Reggie Salt lives. Man, this thing is so, so bulky. And now it's going to go for a Drain Punch there. It's like, okay, this thing definitely has to be a Salt Vessel, right? Uh, so it's going to get some health back from the Drain Punch. It's going to get a lot too because this Pokemon, Reggie Draco, has a lot of health, man. So now I'm going to go for the Dragon Energy. The Sand has gone, but I have sustained uh, damage already. So I was like, is this going to be enough to take it out? And it just was, right? If I didn't take it out then and it hit me with another Drain Punch, that was it. Like, Reggie Drago would have been walled. I would have had to swap out, right? Which would have been really bad with the, uh, you know, the Choice Scuff. So in comes uh, the Clefable. Since I'm Choice, I've got to swap out here. There's nothing I do. And I'm going to go into Reggie Gigas, which is that half elf. I was like, okay, what can Clefable actually do to me? Maybe a Moon Blast, right? So uh, let's see what moves it actually has, like offensive move. Now it's going to go for a Mystical Fire. Like, okay, Mystical Fire, that's actually kind of annoying because I'm running a special set and that's going to drop my special attack right at this stage I was going to go for another coverage move but now it's like it's just going to keep spamming it right it knows that I'm running a special set so I've got to go for high beam there's nothing I can do even if I lose Reggie Gigas which I'm going to anyway if I can take Kefable out with me that'll be very good so Kefable goes for a third mystical fight dropping my special attack by three stages Reggie Gigas manages to get another high beam firing out of its uh, arm again. Must, it's, its arm must be getting sore by now. And Clefable is going to go down. So that was really good getting rid of that. And of course, I'm going to crit, you know, right at the end there, which is uh, kind of funny. Wish I would have got a crit earlier on. Anyway, so uh, the next Pokemon they got is the uh, Inteleon. So it's like, okay. Is this, this is going to be a normal, uh, you know, snipe shot set? It's going to go for the snipe shot. And of, of course, my uh, your Regis is going to be going down to that one, which is interesting there. So uh, that goes down to the crit too, and that takes out my Regis. Now, I still have... I still got the Reggie Drake. I was like, I can go for Choice Scarf Twister, right? If I can get a flinch, this would be like complete galaxy brain, right? So obviously I can't use my, um, well, I can use my signature move, but it's going to do no damage. So go for the twist there. Look how much twist it does, and I get a flinch. This is so hype. Now I can go for another Twister, right? Hopefully, I know that I won't take it out. If I get a crit, it'll be nice, but it was doubtful, right? I had to get another flinch on the Italian there. Almost takes it out, and unfortunately, it gets an ice beam off and fires an ice beam out of its finger at my Reggie Draco. I was so close to getting a Twister KO there. That's actually a pretty interesting strategy there, trying to flinch with the Twister. Brings me back to my days with my Mega Rayquaza Twister only sweep. Okay, we're going to go into Reggie Lecky now. This thing's going to be able to take this out easy, outspeed it, and it's a big set with Sucker Punch. I was like, okay, that's cool. It's going to give them a little bit of chip damage there. I'm just going to go for a Thunder Cage here and take out the Intella. Now, Thunder Cage is a really cool, it's a signature move, and it's really cool too. It's the second most powerful trapping move, right? 
because Magma Storm be the most uh, powerful trapping move. So I'm going to go ahead and assume it's the second one. Just off the top of my head on the spot there, right? Anyway, so yeah, Venusaur's going to slide in. I'm going to go for lock up there. Uh, target acquired on Venusaur's face. And I'm going to fire off that zap counter, right? And then Venusaur, right? It goes for amnesia. So I'm like, oh no, this is bad. This is really, really bad. So I didn't waste any time at all. I'm going to fire that Zap Cannon off against the Venusaur. I mean, it does pretty good damage considering it's not very effective and they've got a, a niche drop. So I was happy about that. So getting that 100% Paralyzed, which is really, really good now. So a Venusaur is going to go for a second Amnesia and it's got Black Sludge as the item. How am I going to get past this thing? So I was like, okay, the best thing to do here would be go to the Thunder Cage, right? Because I can get some fixed damage each turn and, you know, then I might be able to just keep firing off Zap Cannons and take it out, right? Unfortunately for me, Venusaur is going to be packing Earth Power and Reggie Lecky is going to go down in one shot. I was hoping it didn't have a ground type move like Earth Power or Earthquake, right? But uh, that's how it goes. That would have been really good with Thunder Cage. I could have uh, I could have possibly taken that if it didn't have any like healing moves, of course. So now into Reggie. Uh, Reggie Steel here. And uh, Reggie Steel has got Explosion. That's all I could do. I didn't want to use Explosion, but I really, really had to, right? Now, there was one Pokemon I was actually quite scared of, especially with my Reg Ice and Reggie Steel being the last two Pokemon. So get an explosion K off, which is really, really good there. And Venusaur is going to go down. Uh, the Paralyzed from the Zap can actually enabled me to outspeed the Venusaur too, which is very, very handy, right? So the next Pokemon is the Rapidash. And a shiny Rapidash, which looks really, really cool. It's like, it looks like it's got a storm on its back. So we got Reg Ice here. Oh, let me explain this set. It's a max health and max defense set with Assault Fest. Max health and max defense with Bold Nature, right? So we got a Smart Strike there from the Rapidash. I'm going to go for a rest here to rest up, right? The Stone uh, the Stealth Rocks did actually hurt my Reg Ice. Uh, that's about the only Pokemon that really gets affected by, right? So I've got Chesso Berry as my item. I'm going to wake up right away. So I've got Ancient Power, right? I've got Blizzard. I try to make like a really, really bulky set. I've got Charge Beam and Ancient Power. That's my moves. So Rapidash is going to go for a Smart Strike again. They do not want to go for Flare Bits because they don't want to burn up their health, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for Ancient Power and hope that I can get a boost and, of course, some damage, right? Now, uh, Rapidash is going to go for a Flare Blitz. I was like, man, uh, this is going to be very close where I live this or not, and I didn't live enough fortune to get another Ancient Power boost up. If I did live that one, it would have been almost enough to take out the Rapidash. It would have been very, very close there. But a crazy battle there at the end uh, with the Rapidash. I was scared of that the whole battle if, uh, you know, I lost my four Pokemon. Let's get on to the uh, third and final battle. Uh, this one was against uh, my name is Jay, and we got, uh, we got an interesting battle here as well. Now, out of all the battles that I did, I usually led with Regigigas, right? Now, we've got a Mudstar lead here, and yes, before anyone says, I will do an updated horse team too, because we got... You know, we got lots of horses now. So I've, I start off with Reggie still this time to change things up a bit. And uh, this was a big problem. So as I got the Ice Punch, I was hoping for a Free Sax, and Mudstar was going to have Stamina, right? Now, instead of uh, me being able to swap out next turn, it's going to trap me in with the Sand Tomb, right? And Sand Tomb does a reasonable amount of damage to Reggie still too. Uh, you know, believe it or not there. So I'm going to be trapped in, and it's going to be able to use a super effective move against me. So my only, uh, my only way to actually uh, maybe shut this thing down would be to go for Ice Punch and get a Free Sax. I was like, okay, let's go for free sacks and, you know, see how much it's going to do. So Mudsail's going to go for a protect here. And, of course, I'm going to go for Ice Punch. It's not going to do anything. And, uh, you know, Mudsail's going to have leftovers as the item too. So what, is, what they're trying to do is storm me out and get some extra health back on the Mudsail, right? Uh, Mudsails are a very fast Pokemon either. So even, like, say at this point, even if I don't take it out, which is a 1,000% likely, if I can put it on a low enough amount of health, right, I could just come in and bring in another Pokemon and take it out, right? So Ice Punch is still doing pretty good damage, even though I'm raising up, uh, you know, the Mudsdale's defense there in the process. Uh, we got another attack there, which is Body Press. So, obviously, they went with the, uh, the obviously the strategy of, say, they get some stamina boost, which bulks up the defense. Then they go go for Body Press, and, you know, Body Press is uh, more powerful that way. So, that works very, very well with Mudsdale. So, down goes the Reggie Steel, and I'm going to bring in Reg Ice again. It's like, okay, let's go for a simple Blizzard here. This will take out, uh, you know, Mudsdale at this range. Even with no special attack EVs, it'll take it out, right? And I know that it doesn't uh, carry Assault Fest, right? Because we've already seen that it's got, uh, you know, Leftovers Recovery. So Mudsdale's around uh, three-quarters health, maybe a little bit under there, and they are going to swap it out. Now, the next Pokemon to come in is the Glastrius. So it's like, okay, 
this is bad news. I've got to take this Pokemon out. You people know what this is. You know, this is a, a very, very scary Pokemon, right, with Chilling Nay. So now it's going to go, I'm going to go for Ancient Power here. I'm hoping I can get, like, an Ancient Power boost on top of, like, my already bulky Red Ice there, which would be amazing, but it doesn't happen. Now it's going to go for a Payback there. It really doesn't do too much damage to Red Ice at all, right, because once again, I'm running max health and max defense bold nature so it does uh it really just makes it super bulky and red ice has a lot of special defense already right so now it's going to hit me with another payback and they're going to swap their glacier out which is uh you know kind of bad now before i think i think i could have said i was running a, a, a salt vest red ice i meant uh chester berry for the rest i don't think I, I'm, I'm not sure if i said that or not but uh if i did i was running chester berry not a salt vest it's salt vest very good on red ice so so back comes in the mud cell again and it's going to have leftovers so, like okay what can Mudsdale possibly do to me outside of Body Press, right? Body Press won't take me out either. Blizzard misses. I was like, man, that really sucks. Now Mudsdale is going to be able to go for a free Body Press on my Regars, and I managed to live there just because I was running bulk, like max health and max defense. That's the only reason I managed to live that, right? And of course, Mudsdale didn't have any stamina boost, right? So its move wasn't powered up. So I'm going to spin it right round, baby, and Mudsdale is going to go down, which is very, very good. Like, this took me almost half the battle to take Mudsdale. That was very, very annoying. So the next Pokemon is Keldeo. You might be able to see a little theme team here, people. Maybe you can see one. So we got the round from Keldeo, and Regice is going to go down to a round. That's something you probably won't see very often. And, of course, they're going to have uh, the move round is going to have Throat Spray, right? Because it's a sound-based move. So I've got to take this Keldu out because now Keldu has a plus one in special attack. So I thought, okay, let's go into Regulecki. Regulecki will outspeed this easy peasy. Um, the thing about Regulecki, too, like, even, like, <laughs> even without even, like, speed investment, it can still outspeed, like, Choice Scarf Pokemon. This thing is, like, so, so fast, right? Super, super cool. So uh, we got the Regulek here. I can go for any electric type move, and that'll definitely take out the Keldeo in one throw, right? Unless Keldeo has like a Focus Sash or something weird like that, you know, I'm right as rain. So go for that Max Lightning on the Keldeo. Uh, we know that it doesn't have a Focus Sash either because we've seen that at Throat Spray, right? So Keldeo is going to be going down in one shot. And now I can lay the electric terrain on the field, which is very, very good. That's going to power up all my electric type moves. And of course, the transistor ability too is going to stack on top of that. Now, the next Pokemon is the Glacier. We've seen Glacier early on. I was like, okay, well, is it going to be able to live this? I, I'm very, very doubtful that it'll even be able to live this attack. And now they're going to Dynamax their Glacier. So I'm like, okay, okay. This could actually live, because it's actually quite a bulky Pokemon. Uh, the good thing about this Pokemon, though, say if it gets a couple of chilling nays up, the thing about it is, right, it's not fast like it's, uh, like the Shadow, um, the Shadow Bergema, right? Uh, it's definitely not Spectral, right? I nearly forgot its name. It's not very fast, so you can definitely uh, take it out, right? So go for my uh, Max Lightning. It, it fails to take it out, obviously, and now I can go for a Max uh, Hailstorm. And this is most definitely going to hit hard against my Reggie Lecky there. But I do manage to tank it, which is good. There's, it doesn't have any chilling nays up. That's the only reason why I was able to live that, right? So we got a little bit of hail falling on the field now, which is going to buff up my Reggie Lecky. Those circuits are getting a little bit frosty. I'm going to go for the Max Lightning on the Glacier out. And that is going to take it out, which is brilliant there. So taking their Dynamax Pokemon out very, very early, which was nice. Now, the thing about this ride is with Regulecki, I've still got uh, some very powerful electric type moves to use, and I've still got a bit of health too. So the next Pokemon we got is the Rapidash. It's like, okay, another Rapidash, like two Rapidash in a row. This time it's not shiny, it's just a normal one. Now, I know that I can outspeed this. I pop the Zap Cannon and it misses. I'm like, man, that would have been great if it landed there. I mean, Thunder Cage could have possibly taken it out, but uh, I wanted to go for the Zap Cannon just to make sure if it had a Sash or anything like that. Oh, and me would have died to hell anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. And the Flare Bit. So, I could have gone for Thunder Cage. I still say it would have lived there because Thunder Cage isn't, like, super, super powerful like, uh, you know, Zap Cannon. Plus, it's amazing, atta amazing attack, Zap Cannon. So, I'm going to swap in my Reggie Rock here. I was like, okay, what I could do here is go for Rock Polish. I was like, nah, I might as well just attack this, uh, you know, Rapidash, right? I could have gone for a Rock Polish there, and, uh, you know, I know that it's going to go for a Grass-type move, because uh, I thought, okay, is this a mixed tackle with Solar Beam? But instead of using Solar Beam, it's going to use Solar Blade, and you know what that means, right? I'm going to get a Weakness Policy. Now, I will say this too, I got a live Reggae Rock Sweep during my live stream on Twitch, so... If you want me to put that one up on YouTube, just uh, let me know. It's a live. It's actually a live one for my stream, so it'll be a live vibe. I know. Also, um, I know some people like the music ones and the live ones too. So I will be putting 
a mix of them up on my channel. So, uh, you know, uh, some weeks it might be a mix of both, some weeks it might be some live, some weeks it might be some music. But uh, I will be doing uh, both of those still because I know uh, some people like them and some people don't and some people like both, right? So Rapid Ash is going to go down to the body press there. Next Pokemon is the Spectria. So as you can see, this is a full horse Pokemon team, like an updated horsey one. So I'm going for the Ice Punch there, hoping uh, I, I just need one Stone Edge to miss, right? And uh, now Spectra is going to go for a Shadow Ball. And Reggie Rock actually manages to live on six health, which is amazing. I thought it would go down there, right? So I can go for another Ice Punch on Spectra and take it out, which is really, really good. Now, at the moment, right, I've only lost two Pokemon, so I'm in a very, very strong position. Now, the last Pokemon, obviously, uh, you know, is the last Pokemon. So I can go for either a Stone Edge or an Ice Punch, right? And uh, it's a Rapidash, so it's a Rapidash Gala. So like, let's go for Ice Punch again. I don't want to miss Stone Edge. Let's go for Ice Punch and get some good damage. It almost took it out, which is really, really cool. And now it's in range for me to actually take out with one of my other Pokemon. So Reggie Rock is going to go down to the Psycho Cut. I mean, I've still got a Choice Scarf Reggie Draco uh, that I can use too. So it's got the uh, Life Orb as the item too. So just one or two more attacks, it's going to go down. Anyway, so I popped the Hyper Beam right and it missed. And now uh, Rapid Ash is going to go for the Plate Off. And that's going to miss too. So like, what? And now I'm going to go for a high Beam on the uh, Rapid Ash there. And it's land and Rapid Ash is going to be going down, which is good. It only had like a little bit of health left too, which is uh, pretty awesome. That's all the battles, people. Hope you enjoyed the Reggie team, the updated one. I'll catch you tomorrow for maybe the Slowpoke one. Peace out, people.